So, hello everyone, this is Aether Nightmare, and welcome back to kind of a weird one, session 51.5 of Genshin Impact. I'm not actually streaming, I'm just recording because that'll give me more chance to pause if there is noise that I need to work around while recording. So, I haven't really been able to record much this week due to it being a holiday where I am, and as a result, a lot of people setting off fireworks or being loud and just lots and lots and lots of noise so i'm recording this super duper early in the morning like the sun is barely even up kind of early in the morning so this is apparently the only time i get that's also when i recently recorded uh the first demo for scarlet nexus so what are we doing well there are some events going on in genshin i actually did miss one which was the samurai to arms one which was uh you could do some battle challenges similar to previous events. I didn't get to do that one at all. And this one, as you can see, only has two more days on it for Kumball Combat. There's also a couple other little quests around uh, town as well. So I would like to get those done if possible. So this could be a short one. This could be a slightly longer one. I don't know. All I know is that it's only got a couple more days on it. I don't really have good time to record, so we're going to have to make do with what we got. And I'll probably send this up as a stream rerun for its first run, ironically enough. I might do that with Scarlet Nexus as well. Just to make sure Twitch understands I'm on mini hiatus. So the first one... That I noticed was up here at Wang Xuin and I flagged it, so let's go there. Okay, where are you? There's a little quest marker. Too bad it won't actually tell me. I bet it's in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, what should I do? What's wrong? Oh, it's you. Nothing's wrong, except I might need to start looking for a new job soon. The other day, the innkeeper asked me to prepare a new dish that would attract more guests. It should be presentable and tasty, but also stylish and artisan. Oh, and have personality. I've been trying to come up with something satisfactory over the last week, but the innkeeper didn't like any dish I came up with. Well, what did you make? I gave it all I had, really. I utilized everything while honing my culinary skills in the mountains. Candied silk flour, chingshin and lotus seed duck stew, crab bro stewed meatballs. But he would shake his head at everything I and ask me to give it another thought. But I've already reached my limit. Ah, oh, right, I still gotta cook something for that freeloader. It's about time he came around. Um, have you already reached your limit? Do you mean jung Jungshu? Unless you know of any other parasites who'd shamely come here every day asking for food. Since you're already here, why don't you grab a bite too? You can sit over there, I'll serve you the food when it's ready. Too salty. Okay, sit by the table. Here? Does he mean here? Maybe not. Maybe he means somewhere else. Sit by the table. Maybe a different table. Oh, here. Ah, hi. Huh? I see that we have a special guest today. Usually it's just that chef and I eating in silence. Perhaps your presence will liven up today's meal. But it appears that the chef is terribly worried about something today. Why the long face? Okay, sit. Uh, these meatballs are not half bad. This m meat just melts in one's mouth. The broth packs a lot of flavor as well. Huh? There's crab roe in the meat. No wonder it tastes so unusually fresh. Come, traveler, try one more. I'll teach you what to do. First, use chopsticks to open the meatball up, then soak it with the broth and eat it with some rice. Uh, you talk like an expert. <laughs> Even a fool would learn a thing or two about food if they got to eat such delicacies every day. Let me teach you the correct way to taste this stewed fish. You'd better enjoy the food, because that might have been the last meal I get to cook here. Last meal you cook here? Who told you so? Oh, it's not because of me. It's the innkeeper fed up with you because you've been feeding me all this time. Seems a bit unfair, given that I supplied the inn with the best with my best catches free of charge. That should have covered the last part of my bill. Besides, the innkeeper isn't known for being a miser. No, oh, give me a break. It was just a few fish, and most of them ended up in your stomach anyway. So actually, 
<sighs> Fine, I'll tell you. Explains the innkeeper's request. Uh, presentable, tasty, stylish artisan, and with personality. I'm not sure if there's any dish in this world that meet the innkeeper's requirements. You think it's funny? We'll see how you laugh when you come over next time and I won't be here to feed you for free. Alright, alright. It's not so funny after all. So that's why you've been looking so worried today. It's hard to be in high spirits when your boss expects you to perform miracles all of a sudden. Hmm. There might be a way out. Even though I can't cook myself, I happen to know a recipe for a unique dish. I came across that dish during a trip abroad when I happened to be a guest at a big local shot's house. They called it chicken tofu pudding. By the looks of it, you wouldn't say that it's a meat dish. It's really as delicate as tofu pudding, but with a strong flavor of meat and herbs, a rare meat dish that imitates vegetarian cuisine. Is it for Xiao? That meal left me so curious about the dish that I asked my host for the recipe. However, I'm a bad cook, so the recipe has been collecting dust in my chest ever since. Uh, I hope I'm surprised that you managed to get a hold of such a recipe. Surely it must be a very difficult dish. Uh, long story short, I helped someone they in and they invited me to a feast to show their gratitude. The chef who came up with the recipe didn't mind sharing it with me. He was confident that one can count the people skilled enough to make such dish on one hand anyway. No doubt about it. According to that chef, those who attempt to make the dish have to not only be skilled in the art of cooking, but also in the art of the sword, which yours is clipping through the floor. <laughs> what kind of dish requires swinging a sword? I can chop meat just fine with my knife. I'm afraid you'd sooner chop... Cut the chopping board in half, then mince the meat fine enough with that knife of yours. I was told that minced meat is the highlight of the dish. As such, precise sword technique is the key to success. First, one needs to portion the meat and chop it up with the sword's edge. Next, use the sword's backside to mince it. Next. What? <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. That recipe of yours is good for nothing in our hands. I'm not much of a swordsman and you're not a cook. Where can we find a sword-wielding warrior who happens to have some culinary skills? Me? That person might be closer than you think. I know my way around the kitchen, and that's true. You're also a skilled swordsman, aren't you? I've witnessed some of your feats myself. How about we let the traveler attempt to make that unique dish? Am I really gonna use a four-star weapon for cooking? I mean, technically what I'm wearing is a three-star, but still. But the innkeeper wanted Yangxiao to... Well, the innkeeper only told Yangxiao to come up with a new dish. He didn't specify who had to cook it, so it's still an open question. Am I right, chef? Right, your logic is sound. But what ingredients do we need to make a chicken tofu pudding? Nothing special, really. Just some fowl, ham, bird egg, and snapdragon. Tofu? <laughs> do I need tofu? <sighs> still have some fowl and ham stored in the kitchen, but we're fresh out of bird eggs and snapdragon. I have plenty. Had I known sooner, I would have made those Matsutake scrambled eggs. Traveler, can I count on you to bring me one of each? Once you find them, we'll work that chicken tofu pudding out together. Uh, naturally, I'll make sure to repay you for your help. Thanks in advance. Okay, I've already got plenty of all these things. I never expected this recipe might actually come in handy, and yet... Have you found a bird egg and a snapdragon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think? Do you think? Alright, we got the ingredients needed. Let's get to work. So, where do you want me to do first? Well, maybe our freeloading friend can provide us with some instructions. Right, first portion out the meat on the table with your sword and slice it into smaller pieces. Then mince it slowly, turning it into a fine paste. Cut the meat. Here. Here. Confuse. Maybe it wants me to just... Oh, right. <laughs> Yanfei, if you wouldn't mind. Um... I don't know if I actually have a thing for... Tofu. Almond tofu? Um. I. Nope. I don't see it in here. I wonder how it will turn out. I hope it's tasty. Maybe I do it over here? 
No. I'm confused. Dish Beyond Mortal Ken. Here we go. Where does it want me? Five meters, four meters, three meters. I just need to sit? No? It's pointing me here. I don't understand. I'm just gonna stand on the table, see if I... Okay. I'm literally on top of where I need to be. But I do not understand. Oh my god! Okay, that's good. Now pour some water into this pot. Hey chef, can you make this ham a snapdragon pot a bit of broth? Just remember to filter it carefully. Okay, okay, I'll do exactly that. Pour water into the cooking pot. Oh, I need a water character. Oh, I was not expecting it to actually... It is as the stars foretold. What do you... Pour water into the cooking pot. Let's cook it. Oh, here. Now light the stove up and slow cook the meat paste. I have to keep the flame in check. Too low and the meat won't cook through. Too high and the paste will break up and lose its texture. Slow cooking meat in the special broth. The dish is a budget option, that's for sure. This should do it, chef. Come over here and have a taste, will you? I didn't expect me to actually do that. Uh, let me try. Hmm, this flavor is so rich and fresh, but the mouthful resembles that of a tofu pudding. Looks quite presentable too and requires extraordinary workmanship. The premise is also catchy, a meat dish that imitates vegetarian cuisine. I'm sure many would like to try it for themselves. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm sure it'll be to the innkeeper's taste. What a surprise. Turns out you're more capable than I give you credit for. Who knew a sponger like you would remember this recipe so well? I might as well tell you, back in the day I thought this recipe contained some sort of secret sword art, so I studied it day and night without ceasing. Now that I think about it, it must have been an I must have been an absolute madman. It was just a recipe. Why would there be anything about swordsmanship in it? And all that practice for to look for something to look for someone and to ask for justice, that's all. <laughs> that was a magnificent deed. And here you are, speaking so softly about it. Well, I'd once expected that justice I came here. Thankfully, the innkeeper was willing to take me in and let me loaf about the place. I'm here now free of desire. I no longer wish to wield my sword, nor do I have any other skills. I suppose staying here for the rest of my life ain't so bad. Well now, I suppose I should give you a copy of this recipe. You can make it for yourself if you have the time. It's a little troublesome, but it tastes pretty good. Um, thank you. Hmm, well, let's put this dish aside. We can show it to the innkeeper once he gets here. And after that, hey, Mr. Loafer, don't you go anywhere just yet. Come over here. Oh, what do you want? I don't have another recipe for you, just so you know. <laughs> Come on, didn't you say that you didn't have any skills apart from wielding your sword? Well then, draw that sword. I'm teaching you to chop meat. Chop meat? I... well, I'm afraid... You'll get it pretty quickly. Chop meat today, make a dish tomorrow, learn yourself a few of these, and there, you've got a skill. What are you... Hmm. <laughs> A few dishes under your belt, yes? That'll spare me the need to watch you scrap for food around here, that's for sure. Well, come on then, don't drag your feet. You dilly-dally some more and you can forget having any meatballs to eat tomorrow. Wait, what? Come on, you can't threaten me like that. Alright, I'll chop them, I'll chop them. Oops. What did I drop? The remote. <laughs> Chicken tofu pudding, four-star recipe. My TV run is under the table. Cause I forgot it was in my lap. Anyway, we can now cook. Let's see, it's in here somewhere now. Chicken tofu. It'll be down here. There it is. I need a lot of chicken, a lot of ham. I need 40 ham. That's the biggest thing I'm missing is 40 ham. So, cook. I need so much ham, oh my god. This is gonna take forever. This is literally gonna take like over a day, probably. Because I think ham, no, not over a day. It was sausage that takes a long time, my bad. Four minutes. So, four minutes times quarter. 
160. That would be two hours, about two and a half hours, a little over two and a half hours. Um, yeah, that'll be a while. So that is done for now, I do believe. Cool. Next is Big Bada Boom Battle. Paimon is very curious about Albedo. Go to the Golden Apple Archipelago. I can also take that off my map. Unpin. Delete. I now have a pin. Yay, one whole pin. Seriously, I will pay like five bucks or something for more pins. I would love more pins, miHoYo, please. I will literally pay you for more pins. And over here. Okay. Whoosh. He played with Klee for a while before something. Maybe he's gone off to sketch again. Let's look for him. Did not get a chance to read that. Oh, now it has me going over there. You pop me in here, and then you expect me to go over here. Also, the sun's coming up and it is directly in my eyes. I'm actually having to duck to do this. No, I found a sketchbook. Huh? Why is there a canvas here? Oh, it's got a little, um, Dodoko King. Looks like this was left by Albedo. Whoa, this looks like one fierce fella. Is this Albedo's latest work? If you look closely, it does look similar to the gift that Al Alice left for Klee. Aha, uh -huh, it appeared. Come on, Traveler, find some way to take care of it. Uh, during the Kumbal combat challenges, Traveler must use Dodo, go, Dodo guards to reflect Kumbals and deal damage to the Dodo fortress. Depending on the timing of your Dodo guards hitting the balls, the reflection will be either a normal return or a perfect return. Of the two, perfect returns deal more damage. Defeat as many Dodo fortresses within the time limit as possible to earn the highest score. When a dodo fortress is hit by a return shot, it will build up its fury meter. Once this meter is full, the dodo fortress will enter a fury phase for a time, increasing its rate of coomball fire and the chances of it firing off special coomballs. Some dodo fortresses may generate a shield to defend themselves. Dodo fortresses protected by a shield cannot be damaged by normal returns. The shield can only be destroyed by perfect returns. In single player mode, you can take part in single player challenges for Kumball Combat. In co-op mode, you can enter the Kumball Combat double challenge as part of a two player team. Well, I'm offline right now and I don't really have anybody to play with. You will encounter different Kumball and Shazam fruit types during the challenges. Avoid the negative effects of the Kumballs and exploit the effects of Shazam fruits to make the challenge go more smoothly. Teleport waypoint unlocked. Uh, Kumball Combat. Use the Dodo Guard to return Kumballs and defeat the Dodo Fortress. Complete challenges. Incoming Kumballs. Let's do this one first. Single player, please. Oops. Nope. There we go. Oh no, it's over there. Haven't played Genshin in a couple days. Okay, a couple days is not correct, entirely correct, but whoa! There's another one. Okay, there's the shield. I'm assuming I've got to let it get really close to me.
It just keeps coming back. I'm not sure if I'm doing it. Whoa, right. I don't know what the challenge requirements are. Oh, it threw mud on my screen. <laughs> Combined with being directly in the sun means I can't see beans. <laughs> I'm assuming it's just whatever my score is after the timer is done tallying. Shazam fruit appeared. Really? Not see for shit. I wonder if standing up would actually be easier. Yeah, it might actually be easier. Uh, 228. Don't know if that's good or not. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me. 228. Nope, that's not what I want to see. There we go. Oh, there's an event shop. Oh, God. <laughs> I got some stuff. The Relentless Dodo Fortress have suddenly appeared. It's time for Coomball Combat. Uh, the only problem is I have wired headphones, so I can't get too far away here. Foggy groggy ball, a dirty Coomball. If you're hit and are unable to return it, it will create a dust cloud that obstructs vision. Super simple ball, an ordinary coon ball, a uh, breezy burny ball, a coon ball of great power, reflect it towards Dota Fortress to deal greater damage, and a natter chatter ball, an intriguing coon ball? Question mark. After a successful return shot, the Dota Fortress will fire three coon balls in quick succession. Ah. Um, get a high score of 1600 points. 20, 2100, okay. Accumulate 10 successful returns on Breezy Burnie Balls. And cause Dota Fortress to enter Fury Phase three times in at least one single challenge. Okay. Do the challenge at least two times. Defeat 15 Dota Fortresses in total. Accumulate 80 perfect returns in this stage. And accumulate 30 successful returns on Foggy Groggy Balls. <laughs> we really need to rename these. In this stage. Okay, the sun... As long as I sit like really, really straight, the sun is out of my eyes. Uh, Shazam fruits, uh, zoom flume fruit. Pick up this to increase movement speed. And the other one is fury fruit. Collect this to increase fury or extend duration of fury phase. Okay. 30 successful returns. So a lot of these are just repeats then. Which I can do in my own time. And there's three challenges. So I'll do each challenge once, see what the requirements are, and then um, do the rest of my own time probably. But let's see what the rewards are. Up to... Ooh. Some Prima Gems. Can get some Primos. No crown, I don't think. But we can get up to 240 primos. A little name card, which maybe <laughs> it's kind of cute. A bunch of guides, which not actually that many. They're all silver and there's only four of them. I can get that many in like a single day. Uh, Heroes, Wits, and Mora. So my two things might be these again. And if I have more than that, I can go with these. Enigma Gears from the Samurai, probably. Absolute defense line. Let's see where that is. Chili frilly boot fruit. Oh, they're different ones. Um, 
a cold coon ball. If you're hit and are unable to return it, characters will be affected by cryo and their movements will be slowed. I see. Can you go over here, please? Thank you. Oh, there's only two, I think. But there's a new Shazam fruit, ping pong fruit. After collecting this, Dodo Guards will automatically return coon balls for a short duration. Okay, where is it? Assuming it's somewhere else on the map. So I thought these were going away sooner, but I guess not. There's like one more <laughs> little quest before they finally go away. Oh, maybe I just set it here. Yeah, I just said it. Oh, hey, 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 hey. It must be wet right behind me. Dang it. Well, I don't think there's a shield to break in that. Never mind. I still gotta do perfects, which is hard when he lobs them up. How far back do they go? That's the other thing. I can't really tell. Gotta set up super straight. How far away the balls are sometimes. Dang it! I hit the ball, but the new fortress hadn't spawned. Or sometimes I swear I'm like where the ball is. But if your timing isn't like, yeah, see, so you're like right there, I was fine with it. I'm doing bad at this one. Oh my god. I don't li like these! Give me regular ones! I can't- I have no depth perception! No, really, I don't! Like, I mean, I actually don't have depth perception in real life, guys. don't like these. I can figure out the straight ones because I get a rhythm to it, but if it goes over my head like that, I can't actually figure out where it's going. <laughs> straight ones like a rhythm game, but the ones that get lobbed over my head, I have a hard time figuring out. So that one's farther away, dang it. Nice. Two, three, twenty-six. That one I was pretty bad at. I only got the one. Um, defeat it two times. Get a score of 3,000 points. Uh, defeat 35 Dota Fortresses in total. Accumulate 120 perfect returns in this stage. I think over time. Um, accumulate 50 successful returns on Chili Furly Balls. 30 out of 50. I whacked 30 of them. Use the effect of Ping Pong Fruits to accumulate 20 Coon Ball auto returns. Avoid being hit by Chili Furly Balls for... A whole round on this stage. <laughs> if that's the case, I don't even give a crap about score. I'm just gonna run around and avoid all the balls. <laughs> Oops. Nope, not that. And Dodo Fortresses all out attack. Last one. Okay, it's been 32 minutes, so this will be a shorter stage. Oh, I didn't read what the parameters were. Actually, can I? No, that'll quit the whole thing. Abandoned. 
I need to read what I'm doing first. Uh, a twisty returner of a ball that even pros find hard to throw. It boasts a highly unpredictable flight trajectory. I'm screwed. Breezy Bernie ball. Super simple. Foggy Groggy. Oh, this is just all the balls. All the balls. I want to see. There we go. Movement speed, fury phase, ping pong fruit. Okay. This must be Albedo's, like, toy for Klee. I want the fruit. Gimme. I'll get the hang of it off recording. Also, the sun won't be in my eyes. Literally, it's coming right through my window and my computer screen is in front of the window. So the sun is literally right behind my screen, like right behind and above it. Oh, whoa! That's what it meant by trajectory. So I'll have an easier time with this. I might even do it tonight. Since it'll be too loud to record, it doesn't mean I can't play. Oh, I actually got it. That one hit me. I think they're technically disappearing because they're hitting me in the face. So I need to... I'm waiting for actually to have contact with Yanfei. I think I need to get it slightly before. Oh, no, not these. Oh, and it needs perfects. Hate these. I can do every other ball. I can do the weird funky trajectory ball. Oh, there's a Suzanne fruit. It's like way back here. Can we get 3,000? Oh, they always whiff over my head! me literally any other ball besides the one that goes over my head. Okay, we got over 3,000. It is... Alright, these are the final scores for the recording. Don't know if they're good or bad, but it's what we got. It's effective pink ball fruits. I wonder if it doesn't matter which one you actually do it in. Because apparently I got one in here. Three. Uh, score of 1,800 points. 25. Complete two times. Defeat 50 Dota Fortresses in total. Accumulate 100 perfect returns in this stage. Accumulate 10 successful returns and twisty tourney balls in this stage. Uh, destroy Dota Fortress shields five times during this stage. Not getting that. <laughs> Avoid being hit by foggy, groggy balls for a whole round. Just run, I guess. So, event shop. We don't have enough for this. So, the rest I'm just gonna do in my own time and see what I get. So, that is it for now. Um, thank you 
for joining, I suppose. Wait, there's one more thing I want to look at, which is this special event. This has been bugging me for a really long time. Traveler's picture book, it says, which is a good thing I'm doing this in the current mode. Paint? What? I don't know what this is. Insufficient painting colors. Press the get more colors button to complete tasks and receive painting colors. What? Oh. It's different login days, so I'm not gonna actually have time to finish this, I don't think, because I've only got three days. This is where they put like the little web events. I've been technically been logging in enough days, I suppose. Collect one realm bounty within this run a teapot and gain companionship EXP from a companion who has moved in. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. Mm. My coffee is cold. It is bad. And I bumped the thing. So I have five. Uh, day three. Log in three days. Center teapot, collect realm currency once, level up a character once using any quality of EXP materials. <laughs> Stuff I've just been doing in my own time anyway. Deploy the transformer and claim rewards. Defeat one Magu Kenki. I suppose I can defeat a Magu Kenki for whatever the heck this is. Log in on five days. Catch three. Animo Cryo or Geo Crystal Flies, enhance a weapon once. Uh, <laughs> enhance a weapon once? All I have left are three stars. Log in on six days. Defeat three slimes in the Golden Apple Archipelago. Log in on seven days. Defeat three Hillock Trolls wielding bows in the Golden Apple Archipelago. Okay, weird. I keep exiting out of this, so sorry if it comes back in and my screen's all zoomed up. So I guess I can paint now? I have 14 of something or other. Ah. Congratulations, you've obtained the following rewards. You sent in game mail. Following rewards are possible each time you paint. Okay. Complete all painting sections to receive furnishings. Ah, okay. So I've logged in enough. I just need to complete the rest of these. Crystals. Oh, it's like in a random spot each time. Gems. Oh, Glee! Gems. I mean, I suppose I can enhance something. Um, it never said what. I could even do a level one weapon hack it. It just said enhance, right? Not ascend. Nine thousand mora. Oh, it's gonna be a cute picture. Ten thousand more. Okay. I needed to defeat Maku Kenki. I need to kill some slimes. I need to kill some Hilly Charles. Oh, uh, what did I damn it, stop doing? What all do I need? I need to Uh, I'm gonna be missing that. Move one of your companions into your Serena teapot. That's the one I'm probably gonna be missing. I don't know if you need all of them. Collect one realm bounty within the Serena teapot and gain companions who need EXP from a companion that is within. I don't know if I'll get that one. I only need three more, apparently. Defeat Maku Kenki. Uh, 
enhance a, a weapon. <laughs> enhance a weapon. I spelled it weapon. Um, kill three slimes. Bow, kitty, girls. Okay. Should I run around and do that really quick? Enhance a weapon. It says enhance, it doesn't say like increase. Can I send this? No, I can't. I need something like really small. Uh It said enhance though. I don't know. Oh no 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 no. Do not destroy. Enhancement success, did that count? No, it's in the special events. Yeah, it did. Okay, there's one. Okay, slimes. Oh no, I need four. Well, that's one. Eight thousand more. So I guess maybe I could get it with slimes. And hilly churls. Pretty sure there's some hillies over here. Oh my god, I think someone tried to join my world. <laughs> right as I did that. There's some slimes. And a mage. But yeah, the reason I'm not streaming this is because I can literally put it down and then pick it back up at any time. If there's noise. As opposed to a stream where I literally cannot stop. Okay, there's two slimes. I did not specify what kind. So I'm not going to either. Club. Okay, there's one bow wielding hilly churl up there. Dang it! Let go of the thing. I have no stamina. Uh, it's because I've been running around. I wonder if stamina will even get increased once we get to Inazuma. The one guy I came here to kill. There might be two. Maybe a second one. Okay, it's at least one or two. Gotta go find more. Ha, I'm here. I like they're asleep from trying to stay out of the sun. Uh, but as soon as it rises, all hell will break loose. 
So I kind of got to hurry. The children will be unleashed. So many people are like, corporate housing is dystopian, and I'm like, sign me the fuck up! <laughs> so I can actually get away from problems like this. I don't mind minimalistic living, reminder. Some of us have different needs than you. That's the other thing, so many people forget that like, oh, this thing is like, dystopian, and it's like, I have different needs. I'm not taking yours away just because I have an option for myself. Someone building housing with rules suitable for them Just doesn't mean they're taking housing away from you. Look at you, None of those were... Bow hillies. And besides, they already have corporate housing in places like Japan and it's actually really cool. I've seen the inside of my friend's apartment in Japan. Cause she's done a video tour of it and it's really nice. I actually love it. It's just a really simple, like, one bedroom um, apartment with a living room. It's bigger than what my apartment was. It's really simple though, um, but she's like, it's quiet, it's clean. Um, the neighborhood's nice. It's perfect. It's like it's mostly just a bunch of uh, teachers and public service workers that live here. The building itself is older, but like not broken down older. It just means they have some like older um, appliances and stuff. Like the bathtub is very interesting, but it's still a bathtub. So whatever. They have a washing machine. No dryer, you have to hang up your laundry, but whatever. Okay, I don't know if there are any bow hillies. And so I look at something like that, like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's like you can't be loud or anything, and that upsets so many people. And I'm like, ah, but I want a place that's quiet. You guys gotta understand, not everything has to be 24-7 parties. If you want a party, you go downtown. They've got some really cool bars. And a bunch of other venues. Culturally there, you just don't party at your living space. Your living space is where people go to eat and sleep. That's another thing people don't understand about, you know, corporate style housing is people think like, oh, well, you can't party there. So therefore it's like, oh, you're not allowed to have fun ever. No, you just party outside your home. <laughs> you're still allowed to go out and do things. You just don't cause shit there. <laughs> It's a small price to pay because we live so close and compact with each other. We have to learn to be respectful, otherwise we'll be at each other's throats constantly. Okay, that was probably two or three hillies. I'm um, gonna try over here, see if there's any slimes. I need one more slime. And that's the thing something American culture has such a hard time with, is learning to give up one or two things, not even in their entirety, just with the way we currently do them, to have universal peace.
Like, if the people next to me who constantly party were constantly going out to bars and stuff instead, I don't think I would ever have a problem because they're not disturbing me. And they're doing thing these things at venues where they're planned to happen. There we go! Hiding. And if I'm missing a, a hilly churl, I can see one off in the distance right now. So let's see, get some paint. I need at least three more paints. So this one, there's the three slimes. And some of these it gives me two paints, so I might not need much more. Because these both give me two. So I wonder if I'd even need any more paint after this. Like, do I even need to defeat the Mog of Kinky and waste my resin? Ten. Five hundred. Six thousand. Okay, it looks like I'm getting these. Oh, these are things! Ten. Oh, this is a furnishing. Floaty bloaties. Floaty floaties. Dream of the sky. Yeah, these are limited time teapot things. 50 primos. And the following rewards are possible each time. Complete to receive whatever this is. Claim. Cradle of flowers. It's a cute little flower pot. Okay. So we finished Traveler's Picture Book. It's cute. Okay, I think I got everything. <laughs> this poor fish. This poor fish is running away. This one's dead. And we got a crab just chilling and having fun. Barbara's cooking. Jean's fishing normally. And Clee is child unleashed where child is meant to be unleashed. So that's super adorable. Loud stuff is starting to occur because it's 8 a.m. now. So, we've tried out coom balls. We've completed Echoing Tales already. And I totally missed out on Samurai to Arms, so there's no, gonna be no video on that. Sorry. So, with that, um, we are actually done now. Pretty sure. There's my mail of stuff coming in for my prizes. So, with that, uh, this is where I think I'm officially gonna leave it off. We did a almost an hour of content and got to hear me bitch about housing. But anyway, uh, thank you so much to everyone who is joining in the future when this goes out or joining in the premiere rerun. Weird compilation of words. But for those watching this in post, uh, thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you in real future streams. Bye-bye. Um,